physics helps us to understand and predict the way in which the world works. In order to do that, we need to be able to measure different quantities. And we measure quantities in different units. That's the kind of measurement scale that we'd use. We use a, a scale of units called the metric system. There used to be one called the imperial system, and some countries still use that. But this is the metric system, or sometimes called the SI system, or the Système International. We're going to start by linking the unit symbol with the quantities. And we'll start with the base units. These are the uh, what are called the sort of building blocks of all of all of the other units. Uh, which are called derived units. So we'll start with the base units and I'm going to write the the name of each quantity uh, just beside. So here we go. Kg stands for kilogram and that is the quantity called mass. The next base unit is S which stands for seconds and that's the base unit of time. Next we have M, which stands for meters, and that is a base unit of length or distance. Or distance. And the final base unit on this card is A, capital A, which stands for amperes. And an ampere is a measurement of current, that's the flow of charge. How much charge is flowing by every second? Now let's look at the derived units, which are combinations of these four. First of all, we've got Newtons, which is a force, pushes and pulls, Newtons. Then we've got Newton meters. This is a strange unit, which is a quantity called a moment or turning force. It measures how much turning force there is due to a force about a pivot. V stands for volts, and it is the quantity called potential difference. That's the driving force, the driving force of a battery on a circuit, which makes the current flow around the circuit. Potential difference. Sometimes called voltage. M squared stands for area, or meters squared. That's the quantity of area. Meters per second, that's speed or velocity. The difference between speed and velocity is that speed doesn't have a direction, whereas velocity can be positive or negative, so it can be going forwards or backwards. PA stands for pascals, and that's a measurement of pressure, or how much force is exerted over a certain area. HZ is Hertz, and that is the quantity called frequency, or cycles per second of a wave, for example. And finally, D stands for diopters, which is lens power. It's the power of a lens. So just quickly, I'll just run through the actual unit. So these are kilograms. We have newtons. These are Newton meters. This is seconds. Volts is V. M squared is meters squared. I'll just leave that as meters squared or meters squared. We've got speed or velocity. That's meters per second. I'll leave that as it is. Pressure is Pascals. Frequency is in hertz. Meters are just meters. D stands for diopter. That's a measurement of lens power, diopter. And finally, A stands for ampere. Ampere, and we often shorten that to just amp. So there we are. Those are the... Uh, the units and the quantities that they represent for measuring things in physics. Uh, there are quite a few others, but uh, we'll just look at these for the moment.